Hi guys, I'm playing Fortnite. I'm playing this on my MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. It's got an Intel i7 12800HX for 16 gigs of VRAM. And yeah, let's try and get some people. They, wow, I got that dude. I got them. Oh wow. Uh, it's got 16 gigs of VRAM. It's got, sorry, it's got 16 cores, 24 threads, 8 efficiency cores, 8 performance cores. It's got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU with 16 gigs of VRAM. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. And, um, oh damn. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got 3 terabytes SSD. It's got a still series um, keyboard. I'm using the RGB. I'm using is uh, called Disco uh, for the front and for the keyboard. I'll just show you quickly what my laptop looks like. That's the laptop with the RGB lighting, and you see that's Disco, right? So I've just shown you my laptop, right? So uh, the laptop also has um, Windows 11 Home. My Steam Deck's got Windows 11 Pro. Uh, the laptop's got a 15-inch OLED 240Hz QHD display. It supports 1440p gaming. 1080p but I do not use those like I told you I went for the lowest resolution that Windows 11 will allow which is the 1366 by 768 solely for the purpose that I wanted performance so I, I want the highest FPS but on settings and on uh, Nvidia control panel I do use um, 240 Hertz despite using the lowest uh, that Windows 11 will allow In this current game, I'm getting anything from about, I don't know if you guys can see the frames, but it's, it is touching on, um, it is actually touching on, um, okay, the, the highest frames I was getting before I had the highest frames I got was about, I was getting anything from 40 FPS to about 59 FPS. But it does fluctuate between 42 FPS and 51 FPS. So I'm getting like 51. This is not Game Pass uh, uh, Fortnite. This is the actual uh, Fortnite from Epic Games Launcher. And this is actually working on um, Epic. It's on Epic settings. That's the highest settings they can go to. And it's using DirectX 12. Okay, so take that into consideration. Because if this was using DirectX 11, I think I would be getting better frames. And uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't stutter as much. It's playing well. Uh, but I think I would have preferred using uh, DirectX uh, 11 than 12. Why it selected 12, I don't know. Maybe because of the, the epic graphic settings. So maybe that's why it's done that. But I, I wish if if I had just I don't know I I didn't want the DirectX 12 I want DirectX 11 because I know it's going to be more compatible with my laptop and it's going to have much higher frame rates you know you know what I mean like right now the frame rates won't even be that high you you know what I'm saying so I'm not saying like I won't get good frame rates I will but it's not going to be as high as if I had just used DirectX 11. I don't know why it's like that. Maybe because DirectX 11 has been around for quite a while. And uh, maybe that's why it's like that. Right, so basically, like I said, I think the sole reason uh, for why, right, wait, I don't like shotguns, I'd rather get rid of this. I'm gonna keep that for a while. Uh, I, don't, I don't favor the shotguns, actually. Right, so, I don't hate the shotguns, I just don't like the, the fact that I have to keep pressing the button just to fire the shotgun you know 
it would have been better if there was an automatic shotgun or something that you could just press once and then it would just keep firing until there's no bullets left. So it will be firing slowly, but um, you know, there's nothing like that. You have to keep pressing the button. So that's why for me, I, I don't bother myself that much with it. Oh, wow. I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro Max to record uh, the game. You know this. Uh, someone was asking me like which one is better, the Epic Games launcher game or the Game Pass. And I actually said to them, I can actually play Fortnite on my Steam Deck because of uh, Game Pass. So I think I think the Game Pass version is good solely for streaming because the quality is really good. Uh, you, you can, I'm not just saying you can play this on, on Steam Deck only. Obviously, you can play this on many other um, consoles. But I think the very reason, the very reason that it does work initially on the Steam Deck is a good thing. I mean, the Game Pass stuff. But I would really like to see... You know, I realize how tired I am. I've been playing games the whole day, man. You know? I'm serious. I've been playing games the whole day. And, yeah, it's just... It gets a bit tiring after a while, you know? Right, so, let me see. Um... The game, the game works really well. I, I, I would have, you know, I did tell the person, I said, look, uh, Game Pass is good because it's more uh, flexible in terms of what console you've got. And the fact that you can actually play that on your iPhone or Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is a good thing. Uh, but for me personally, I think I actually prefer... I actually prefer the Epic Games Launcher game more than the Game Pass. Solely for the purpose that I can control the graphics and how the game eventually looks like. So that's the main reason why I like that. So I can customize the game. But of course, if you don't have many options for gaming, then the Game Pass version, as I stated, is a good alternative. Because if you don't have a gaming laptop, then and you still want to play Fortnite? What do you do? So that's why I'm saying the very fact Game Pass allows so many people to play games. It's a good thing, but I I still think being in control of graphics is also good because you can actually improve your your FPS uh, count. You know. I just realized how far I am from the next uh, map. But you know what I'm thinking is happening? I think I'm actually tired. <laughs> because, you know when you're tired, you start losing focus a lot, in the, especially in the game. You see? Like there, I didn't realize how far I was from this map until I, I got up here, you know? I like playing the game. It's just, I think, you know what? I think I'm tired. I, I, I am going somewhere. I'll be going somewhere in the, you know, in the, well, we're already in today now, but I, I, I am going somewhere, so that's the thing. I do need to rest. Ah, oh, check this out. I got stuff. Nice. Well, I got some things. Right, I was using the DualSense controller to play games, guys.
Alright, so that was uh, Fortnite and I was playing that on uh, Epic Games Launcher. Alright, let me bring back Steam. I just, I only minimized it so it's still in the background. But I do use Steam more, so... And I like to leave this on... Wait, let's see what's going on with this. Uh, okay, so is that like Xbox Studios publisher sale, right? We always got some sales going on. That's good. Good for them. I like actually going into my library and the game I like to leave my laptop on. I go into the store page and I like leaving it on this one. See? I just like the way it looks. Uh, I'm going to leave it on this level. Right. I don't know why it's so it's gone out of shape. I need to, you know, I need to actually minimize this thing. Oh, I think it's because I closed it, isn't it? I think that's that's why it's done that. Right. So I'll show you guys what I normally do. Jump into this uh, control panel. So uh, what's this hardware and sounds power options, and then select balance. Gets a bit brighter on balance. Then I need to jump into MSI after banner. You can actually see it says 2137. Uh, and temperature wise, 39 degrees Celsius, like I told you guys. Mine never gets that hot. And I'm going to click on this one. And then that resets it. So it does drop to the. This is the original, yeah? The 1590s original megahertz. Right. Uh, let me go into this one. Go to extreme performance, select auto, and go in here, click default, and then save. See? Uh, so it's gone back to default, and that's gone back to auto. And then I just save it. I normally would go to balance, but I do select AI. Uh, this is called smart auto. I, I like leaving it on this one. I sometimes do leave it on balance, but I think smart auto is the same thing. Uh, you know. I don't know what features Smart Auto comes with. So you see, everything should have gone down. I don't know if that's going to go down. It will go down eventually. Uh, when it realizes that I'm not playing games. Um, if I don't leave it on Smart Auto, I could also leave it on Balance. Same thing. And if I go in here, the Mobility Center actually says Balance. And like I said, I do like leaving this on this section. Solely because then at night, I'm just watching this like that, you know. I don't know, I just like this page. I do like the, the Call of Duty page. It's uh, it's relaxing to me. I mean, to other people, it might not be the same thing, but I find it really relaxing. And uh, I like the way, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm trying to grab this thing. I want to make this longer. You see, like that. I stretch it out a little bit. I stretch that out a bit. I don't know, it's not touching the bottom. Ah, there you go. And then basically, I just leave it like this, you see? And it's like in the background. And that's what I'm doing with my laptop most of the time. 